TGIF, thank God it's Friday. I hope everybody's busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, and standing on the rock. <laughs> Hello, hey. Hey, Sally. Yeah, that, that always, uh, if I'm in a, uh, I'm never in a bad mood, contrary to popular belief, but sometimes I'm in a worried, mood or um, a serious mood and I can snap out of it by just standing up shoulders back and and shouting it from the rooftops hey I am busy as a bee cheerful as a cricket steady as a clock and standing on the rock you know we like to say where the mind goes the body will follow but there are times you have to faith it until you make it and uh, sometimes where the body goes, the mind will follow. Just shoulders back, full of hope, look up. I'm busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, standing on the rock. <laughs> hey, everybody. <clears throat> Satan, get behind us. Yes. He has no power here unless we give the power to him. Howdy, everybody. My wife will be coming in in just a few moments. Um, she has a public service announcement. Yours truly is in trouble. So I got myself in trouble. And just like a, a good boss, she's gonna come and uh, scold me in, in front of everybody in a lo loving way. <laughs> Howdy everybody, welcome. Got a few people with us on Facebook. <laughs> Karen, how'd you know? <laughs> how'd you know? Oh, Karen, you know me too well. I think you probably can uh, go on and predict uh, the scolding I'm going to get. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome. Hey, you got to give me that. I'm good at building up. Uh, building up mystery there's probably going to be some disappointment i've so hyped it up but hey it's based on my personal use and it's worked well for me one of the downsides of it is that a lot of people with underlying disease should not be taking it we have done our proper research so i love it diane faith it until um you make it i said many years ago it got me in trouble uh, you never know what's going to get you in trouble. What I said many years ago in front of a group, sometimes you got to fake it until you make it. And uh, from that, and I've, I still believe that to this day, uh, I'm not talking about being a fake or disingenuous person, but sometimes when you don't feel like it or you're down and out, you got to fake it. And, and then the joy and happiness comes. And um, for years, I said that without getting in trouble. And one day, I got in trouble and somebody said, you know, some ugly things to me about faking it and being a fake. And so, uh, you know, I, I've never liked to say that since, but uh, now it's faith it until you make it. It's just faith. It's not faking. It's just faith. I believe, you know, I believe, I believe. I have unwavering faith that God is doing a mighty work here in my life and in your lives. I have complete faith. It may not look like it to the visible eye, you know, I remember uh, years ago, uh, we'll get to it in a minute, Sasha's about to come in. But I remember years ago, back in 2010, I was uh, losing everything I had and people said, you know, God is punishing you for something. And, uh, you know, it, I don't look at life like that. It may look like in a moment I'm being punished for something or you're being punished for something. But the Bible tells me that all things work to the good of those that love the Lord. So ultimately at the end of the day, God is working on our behalf and working things out. And we may go through some temporary trials and pains and tribulations, but uh, we know how this story finishes. It finishes with glory. So uh, no matter what you've got going on, no matter what crises you've got going on, no, you're not being punished. This is called character development. Uh, Wanda says she can't hear me. Can everybody hear me? Make sure you hear me. You can come in, Sasha, whenever you're ready. Can everybody hear me okay? Because some people are reporting they cannot hear me. 
All right. Y'all hear me loud enough? Okay, so it's just on her end. Sorry about that. All right, let's, uh, uh, while, while I'm waiting on Sasha, I'm even going to skip introductions for a moment. Nicole says, I do have one quick question. I have finished the fast track in phase one videos and passed both tests. Which videos should I go to next? The hodgepodge of videos that are in there, uh, just based on the topics that, that you want to look at. I think there's still a category called phase two. I'm going to probably ask Sasha to speak on this too, um, so that I don't make a misstep with my words like I have done so often lately. Um, you, you would think Sasha and I uh, would have our communication on point living together, but we don't. <laughs> we work in silos and we've got to work on that. But there are phase, phase two lessons um, and then there's a hodgepodge of, of videos and learning to take place there. Uh, but what we're coming out with, and I've been promising it all year and now here we are in September, uh, is that we're going to start having structured, uh, we don't like the word phase two anymore, that will go away as soon as Sasha and her team are, are finished with the library, uh, revitalizing the library, taking all the old videos out and putting them in archive, and then you'll have structure. You're gonna have very structured videos like you had the beginner daily doses, fast track videos. You'll have those for what we used to call phase two, which is now gonna be just called the Shibboleth journey. So it's coming and I'm gonna get her in here to speak on all this cause I get in trouble. What happens is I'm like, a, yeah, yeah, I'm like Biden. Have y'all ever seen Biden when he go, I'll cut that off, Sasha, let me fix that. Boy, this, we're all out of kilter today. So mm -hmm. let me fix this. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, y'all seen Biden, he's go, oh, the president of the United States. He's like, oh, they, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> So if he does it, you can expect the same of me, right? I'm not even a president. So. Right. I would pr I would probably prefer sometimes that the technology part of it is his. Um, it, it it you know he, you need to you, have to you speak up. You are uh, <laughs> you are uh, you should just not be having to worry about the technology part. You should just be you know worried about the teaching part and then the uh, yeah. So, well, here, but, here's here's the channel. Quick introductions. There's new people here, Sasha. My name's Travis, and uh, I'm the founder of the program. I hold no no title in this company. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just the founder, and uh, Sasha is the 100% owner. She's the CEO, CFO, COO. She's the one, and uh, we, we do this together. Both of us have lost more than 170 pounds combined. And uh, we just feel the call on our lives to help other people do what we've done, to develop personally, to show themselves grace, to show other people grace. Uh, we want to spend our life uh, serving the Lord, worshiping the Lord in what most would call a non-traditional way. We're, we, uh, we don't subscribe to tradition, uh, not that there's anything wrong with anyone's tradition, uh, but we, uh, we've both been through a lot in our lives, and we believe in God's uh, undeniable never ending grace and mercy. And uh, we have a very small company that we work on uh, 24, seems like 24 seven. You know, I don't, I don't guess you can include sleep, but uh, there's not five minutes that goes by when we are conversing that's not about Shibola. And uh, <clears throat> we're just very privileged, honored to have a great team supporting us. Um, and and it, it's a fight every day to keep this thing alive and going. And that's why we love you all so much because you believe in the vision and mission. So what the challenge is for us is I'm out here yakking all the time. She's not very comfortable. She's very comfortable. Uh, TMI already today. She's very comfortable in one-on-ones and two-on-ones. She's a social butterfly, believe it or not. But when she gets in front of a big group, she is terrified. I, y'all won't believe this, but I, Travis Martin, your friendly neighborhood weight loss coach. I am comfortable in front of large groups. I am terrified of one-on-ones and terrified of two-on-ones, absolutely terrified. But give me a big group and I come alive. So uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just that that's how God has partnered us. But because I'm out here out front all day, I'm the one getting most of the questions. And uh, usually I know about I'm speaking on something like I know 100% of it, of what's going on and what's coming, because 
I'm in, engaging and you can't say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So uh, <laughs> uh, she's the one having to actually make it come to fruition, which she has discovered over the last decade when you're working with a, a fantastic development team that doesn't speak English, it can be an uphill battle. <laughs> so uh, anyway, with that said, uh, yes, I, t I think I left myself 1% room to back out on the happy juice. <laughs> so Karen's already predicted this. Like that, that made me feel really bad, actually. I'm like, <laughs> gosh, I think I'm hiding my faults and they know my faults. Um, but, uh, I said, I said, I checked in with her earlier in the week. She thought, she said, maybe. So I said, when I talked earlier in the week about happy or mentioned happy juice, I said about 99% I'll do it Friday. Well, well I'm not, <laughs> but what we are going to do, and then I'm going to turn it over to her for her to explain. We, we feel that we need a more in-depth course, uh, on, on happy juice. And there's some developments that she needs to finish on the website with this Easter egg thing. And I'm going to let her tell me if I'm right or wrong in a moment. Y'all might see me get a scolding. Uh, what I mentioned yesterday, last night was, all right, let's shoot for Tuesday and Thursday at noon to teach the full course on the happy juice and the new feature on the website. Now I'm going to let you get on to me. I'm not going to get on to you there. You, um, you, you get um, excited about stuff and it's good, but a lot of times our development and I get too excited about it, but I'm not the one at the end of the day that's actually creating and developing these ideas. So in between many, many wonderful ideas, there are other things that happen that come up in between, you know, trying to get one idea out the door and he's right our development our thank goodness i mean our developer i i love him and i wouldn't uh he's been amazing um he's a family member to us but i've never spoken to him in english we he translated it like translates everything that i send to him into russian and i he translates it back before he talks to me he's actually learned the english that he does know he's learned from working with us and uh it's amazing but a lot of times I don't know even, you know, how long something may take because to us, I, I, I'm getting an idea for sure now, but we really are, we're not just plugging in an API, we're, we're literally, you know, designing the code for, for these amazing ideas that you have. So you get excited and want to, and want to, it's tomorrow, it's coming tomorrow, it's coming, and I do too, but I, you know, at the end of the day, it's not, it's, we're relying on our team to, um, and then a lot of, you know, testing and a lot of, um, and, and there's just a, you know, we're, so anyway, it's not, it's not, we were, we were aiming for it, but there are some other things that happened this week. And then there's, um, but we really feel like this is a, this is something that we're, we want to make sure that it's rolled out correctly because it is a, it's a, you know, it's a supplement. Um, and we, we want to make sure that it's rolled out the right way. So he wants to take a little more time to, um, you know, to, to develop and, 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 you know, do those classes, but you, you are fine. Y'all just have to know that he's so excited and he, and what he says is coming is coming. It's just might be a little longer. Than, it's like when you're building a house and the, the builder says, two weeks, it'll be two weeks. You got to add a little bit of buffer there for that. But, um, and I did want to say about to, um, oh gosh, uh, which, which, uh, which, like Nicole had the question about the video library. I wanted to ask next. you about, about this too, because this is something we've promised them all year. So I, you catch well, me up on it too. <laughs> well, I have already, the library is already filtered so that the archive, you know, all of the video, you have your, your curriculum, um and then you have your complete library so the curriculum basically right now all it has in it is going to be your fast track videos the daily doses and whatever these 11 a.m classes they also are part of that you can watch the exercise some of the stretch a minute videos that we did are in the um original curriculum section but then if you are really after you're finished with the daily doses that's enough meat that you can go back and rewatch them you can do you can go back and watch some of the longer these classes that travis is doing every day there are some um there are there are actually thousands i think now videos in the complete library that if you were looking for a specific topic you can search the search bar and see 
you know, all kinds of videos on that. You can search by year. The videos go all the way back to 2014, I think. Um, so you've got, and, and what's great about our video library is when we've pondered taking something out, there's usually the information, the foundation of our program does not change. So it's like the information that's there is still great information. It's just, um, it might be that the video looks old or the product that he's maybe talking about, if he refers to a certain product, maybe it's been discontinued. But for the most part, all of the videos that we've had trouble trying to remove anything because it's all still relevant, it's all still behavior modification and specific, um, you know, just nutritional information and education. So if you're looking for maybe something specific about um, the lion days or the, the shark days or maybe something that's, you know, um, related to gluten-free or diabetes or there's just all kinds of different maybe maintenance you can just look up a, a keyword and it'll show you all of the videos that we have that are related to that so i and and just plug it into these classes the key after you get through the daily doses and the um you know the fast track is really just stay plugged in and learn and glean as much as you can from these classes that are live and the questions that other people ask and he answers and then of course you've got the tiger's eye which is the which, what we would call the next level which i think you are um working on maybe that curriculum but that curriculum the tiger days is really the next probably i would say the next um level up you you uh you can talk a little, little more about that but that would be the next videos i would say to shoot for or look for maybe your tiger if there's not a certain subject that you know of that you're looking to um you know looking to find an information on but um, but I think just staying plugged into it, that is the that is the biggest thing It's just staying involved and, and not letting what you've learned, um, uh, you know, weed its way out because it's Shibboleth. Once you've learned that foundation and it's something you can learn over and over. And every time if you go back and watch that um, videos on the daily doses, you'll pick up something new that you didn't pick up the first time around. So it's 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 constantly evolving and um, you are constantly evolving every time you learn and every time you see something. So, but, but um, mean, meanwhile mm -hmm. you would, so I think, and they can speak to this. Um, well, this is y'all are here for us today. We're not here for you. <laughs> We're learning from y'all. So I think what they're asking for though, is there's so many videos in there and they don't build on one another. It's just a topical hodgepodge of stuff. And, uh, it's like, I don't know where to begin because there's so many, so, uh, you know, Fast Track was very laid out and we finished that. Now we're ready for that next one and then the next one and then the next one. Mm -hmm. So that's what y'all are wanting, right? The sh you want to move from Fast Track to Shibboleth Journey, have an end, and then move to Tiger's Eyes, what I, th I think you're wanting rather than uh, just a thousand videos on various topics, correct? <clears throat> well, that's what I'm... That's so what Nicole saying. could start because Shibboleth journey right now is a hodgepodge of thousands of videos. No, no, we, well, we've see y'all are getting to see a real meeting right now. No, you've you've seen where the, the tiger's eyes are. laid out, but Shibboleth journey isn't. So you you go from fa in my opinion, I'm trying to think like they're thinking. They finished fast track. You're getting aggravated with me. No, I'm, I, they I know. Just... Y'all might help with our meetings because usually the meeting ends up, just forget it. I'll go do another hodgepodge video. So <laughs> so you have Fast Track and right. they, they earn the Fast Track badge. Right. I think there would be more investment and more energy uh, if then I laid out, if I recorded videos that were in the proper order, like when you finish Fast Track, here's where you can go and, and advance your learning with the journey. And then once that curriculum's done, then they want to go to Tiger's Eye. The, the, the challenge that you have and that I have is that people want something new every day. And, and that new stuff where we could provide new stuff every day, a lot of the new stuff that, that we've learned and, and, and what went through courses, we know it's junk. Mm -hmm. So it, it's almost difficult because you're like, well, what? what this thing is that might fascinate somebody's mind is actually junk and is not going to work. It's going to cause them problems. So for example, the move toward veganism, uh, you know, we've been asked to do a course on veganism uh, and we don't believe in that. 
So it, it's really hard to do a course that you don't really believe in, uh, so to speak. Uh, for uh, I'm not talking about for religious or political reasons. We believe in a person. Uh, you know, if someone says, I'm, I'm a vegan because I don't want to hurt animals, then, then we're all about helping them uh, with our program. We're all for that. But what we aren't for is the, the belief that veganism helps one be physically healthier. We, we don't believe that. So um, anyway, we're, the point was we're getting there where we can, you're really waiting on me, I guess, at this point for that side of things. Yes, anything yeah. else you wanna add is just you're waiting on your, the videos that you that only you can do yeah. so, so but i did want to answer one yeah, quick thing. i saw wanda asked about logging out of or i guess the your cell phone is logging you out of the website that's not um our website that does that and it's some kind of setting on your phone so i would double check that because you're we can't control how long it's you know it, it keeps me logged in all the time so i have to look i have to physically log out in order to you know log in maybe as a test account or something so check your cell phone um uh your settings because that's something that's going to come from your phone settings yeah i'm always logged in i haven't had a problem with that stephanie says i want a system that we know where to start and then where to go next and then next and then next now stephanie that's part of what i was saying mm -hmm. at the end of the day there's not always a next there's not always a next it's like any uh, but right now we have room for what's next, what's next, what's next. But to lay it out in a curriculum format where it builds on it, you, you all have gotten an incredible education that we all call beginner that's not very beginner. Mm -hmm. And we can lay out the journey, then we can lay out the tiger's eye. That would be next and next and next. But as soon as you're done with Tiger's Eye, then it's just topical videos. Now, what she says is, um, if I have a specific question, I wanna be able to look it up on that video uh, and, and know more on that subject. So I, I think the challenge here for people is the videos are so long, right? You don't wanna have to, like, cause they can do a search now, right? Right. Are there, is there metadata attached to the video so that they can search based upon their topic? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I'm assuming, Stephanie, if you knew that, then your problem is that video is so long and it's not bookmarked and you don't know where to go to in the video for your topic. Well, one of the things that happened, we were bookmarking videos for everybody, but we, we went through a tough financial time and we had to lay off the person that did the bookmarks. But if you're talking about something else, let us know. Um, but yeah, we hear y'all and we're, we're working on it. And I've gotten out in front a little ahead of her and the team and they're fast. It's just that I can't keep my mouth shut. So uh, I hope there's enough there now for y'all to be educated. You do, you, do, you do accumulate, they don't mean very much right now, other than you get a little discount in the store. The more videos you watch, the more points you accumulate uh, in your phase two badge. So I don't know if you knew that, but anyway, we hear you, we hear you. And, and another problem is like Karen and Stephanie are on, on the same mindset, like for me to do, what, what the big knock has been on the program for years is the videos are too long. And what happens to us is there are 24 hours in a day and we have to kind of pick our poison, so to speak. Um, those little short videos, they take a long time for someone like me that has nobody on staff. So for example, if I do you a two minute video on a topic, which she knows is our desire to do, that's what we keep trying to get to, but we're, we don't have help, very much help on the team. We're really shorthanded. So what would happen is a lot would have to be taken off of me, hence me always trying to raise money so that my job, I could be back here. And I think y'all let me know if this doesn't sound great in a utopian Shibboleth world. I would do topical, short one to two minute videos going over it. Cause I know every imaginable topic that I've been asked for 20 years. And if I could give you a real short video 
that would be so much easier than you having to find the long video and find where I mentioned, you know, intermittent fasting or where I mentioned uh, perfect pairings and how to do a perfect pairing. So, you know, it just takes so much time because you have to record it, then you have to process it, then you have to edit it, then you have to process it again. The, the ideal situation for us, she, you get mad at me again. Anytime she's smiling, she's I'm, mad at I'm me. Just chuckling. The <laughs> ideal situation for us would be to have someone uh, on the team that does videography and editing. That's our, that's our challenge. I but listen. we picked our poison. Yeah. It was either let go of the stuff like 11 a.m., 8 p.m., those long ones. It's either like we could do the short ones. I'm just curious. Don't get mad. Well, <laughs> so I'm just curious. If y'all had to pick, I'm being, I, I'm sincere right now. This is a family meeting, right? It's, this has turned into a family meeting, sincerely. If you had to pick, had you rather have your 11 a.m. session and your, your lengthier sessions I do at night or little short videos with no live sessions, which had you rather have if you had to pick one? Now, we don't want you to pick one in the future, but I've got to have more team members. Sasha just, Sasha, listen to this. Sasha just interviewed, she just interviewed a video, a videographer that does video editing and they cut them and do short videos. Listen to this, $100,000 a year. Sasha and I, we, ain't, we make $100,000 a year uh, about, uh, it takes us about five years to make a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, we, there's no way we could do it. Do y'all follow me? So we're just having to pick our, pick our medicine. So y'all, it seems like most of you like the 11 o'clock stuff. Yeah, I think I, I think that the the short <laughs> Lauren Brown the short uh, <laughs> she won't be smiling when we oh, leave. Oh, Lauren, I get so much trouble for the look on my face. It's not. I'm like I don't. Even it's the eye roll. But I don't. I don't eye roll. I just. I just listen intently, and I tell him when he's throwing an idea out. I'm already trying to figure out how we're going to make it happen. <laughs> so, um, but I with the live videos and the long classes, I think a lot of people think that they don't need to watch those videos and there's not they even listening to them like I know some of y'all were saying that you're driving or you're walking or you're riding in the car or you're doing your makeup in the morning, but listening to the all of it, it's not just about what you eat and when you eat it or it's it's the whole thing. It goes together and when you can take the time to listen to i mean i've i have told you we need to do some short videos because it's um you know people all of our attention spans are so short i know that mine is if I, something doesn't catch my interest right away i'm flipping or whatever but i think that once we know what we're getting here it's 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 important and i think we just want more information so having more knowing what to do next is just like ah this is so cool and it's so great information and i've done so good that i just want more like what more information can i get and it is is a point where you learn so much of the foundation and then you're sort of like open waters you know you go into you get to go wherever you want to go to learn whichever one you want to learn um and then those videos that are longer he has such a great way of, you know, teaching you how to apply it to your life, you know, what's going on right now. Um, and then, you know, what, you know, somebody may ask a question that you had, but you didn't even know that you had, or it's just, a, it's important to, to plug in because you do pick up something. You never know what little nugget of information that may be related to more, more about behavior modification and than it is about the nutrition component but to me it's also important to go together that um even if you're listening um and you're not able to make notes or or whatever it's important to get that to keep that coming in because it definitely keeps you plugged in and your subconscious is is you know is taking it in and recycling it or, or whatever so the short videos um are more i think they're more lesson um based they're more scripted it's not super comfortable for him to do because I can ask him a question about apples and we have an hour long conversation. And many times I'm like, I wish I was recording it because it's really good information. So, um, so I would, I would say that there's a, you know, where we're trying to bring people to us. Sometimes the shorter videos are 
are great, but at the end of the day, we we real I think we've learned that it, people really do need all of it. So to try to cut something out, or maybe we could chop them up into segments, which is what we're hoping. Maybe we can find a videographer to do. But but uh, the, you know that that's just the the beauty of this um, of of what he's done is just is is uh, really laying it out in a way that we can all understand and we can all relate it to something in our lives. So anyway, that's, you're doing a great, you're doing a great job. Yeah, we just want to do more and yeah. that, that's, we can't do it all. And uh, she's teaching me that. So, yeah. but we'll keep working on it. We love listening, listening to you, hearing from you. Do y'all have any questions for the CEO, CFO and COO? <laughs> I have to go look through all these comments. They're great. I know. I love that Zoom records all this and we can pull these comments. This is this is amazing feedback. I hope y'all don't feel like we're wasting your day. I didn't plan on doing this, but we have we have had a lot of 11 a.m. sessions and maybe y'all can be here for us today and give us feedback because it does help when you, you, you want to do it all. You have to kind of prioritize and sometimes your priority is a little different than what I think you want. So it's good to hear. Yeah. So any questions for Sasha about, um, she, she works on everything, web development, app development, everything. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Shelly wants to know about circadian rhythm. Yes. And it's, I'm actually hoping that it can be ready next week. There's, there's phases of that. And, um, I know that Travis, we're, we're waiting on one. I got ahead of myself finished. on that too. We're waiting on one part of that to be finished. Um, and I'm not sure that it will be, but we've got enough of it finished that we can, um, I, you know, I, I've got to, I've got to, I'm testing that right now to make sure that all of the, you know, from everything from all the words are spelled correctly to um, that it's appearing at the right time. So it's very, it's, it's very, very close. We've, you know, you finish one part of it and then it opens up other areas that you, you want to add or you want to, you want to change. So, so it's very, very close. So I'm hoping that, um, it, you know, that I can get him to okay the release that we have and then um but i do think there's a there's going to be a great benefit to launching it all together and no you have not missed it missed it yet i'm sure that when it is launched for everyone that <clears throat> he'll make a big deal about it because it's a pretty cool feature so um so we'll be sure to let you know there's actually several things right now that i'm testing and um they got to go test right? i thought they could already do that diane wants to create a grocery list from the meal generator without having to click each item i think they can already do that right yeah, I saw that she brought this up on Facebook the other day, and I need to look at it because I think I thought that you could um, create a grocery list from, I think you have to tell it because I think the the idea was that he said, well, maybe you, the meal plan's great, but you might not want everything on that meal plan. So yeah, I think you do have to select each recipe that you want to put on the- Can we um, add on, uh, yep. on the meal plan generator, can he add that little grocery add button? Yes, I think I, I I'll check and see because if it's not there, it should be there. Okay, so I'll go see if it is. So, okay. Yes. Any other questions mm -hmm. for Sasha? Ah, oh, thank you, Greta. We are, we are we we are too reminded of what's available. It's we um when I when I get to look at it as a from a member's perspective, I am I'm just wowed. There's a lot there. So um we're we are I I he says well. Can we do this and can we do that? And I said, can I just finish what we talked about last week? And so, and we're not even that we're way, we're, we've gotten way behind. It's certainly COVID and then our um, what's going on in the Ukraine. It, it definitely set us back and um, different things throughout the year. But but we're 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 making it. We're going to make it happen. And all these things that he's got going on are um, are amazing. And I can't wait for him to be able to show everybody all of the ideas that he has. So um, I would just. Uh, yeah, just know that when he when he said it, it's coming. It's just uh, I need to put up a flash and like whenever like whenever you say that something's coming, I need to come up behind you with a flashing light that 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 with an ETA that I think I always try to I always try to I always try to be positive though. But again, it's not up to just he and I. It's up to a development team that we're relying on that um, is a you know is on the other side of the world. So, but they're <laughs> working on it. So yeah. I love you. Are you done with me? No, I'm not. This is the shirt, by the way. You're about to talk about badges, and this was the shirt that was earned yesterday by yeah. 172 people. That shirt? 
The third isn't this the Thursday, the Thursday shirt? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, so I want while we're doing recognition, I thought it it might be nice for for you to to be here too. Um, do want to? We both want to thank. Uh, I don't know if I have permission to use the whole name, but uh, I, I do want to thank Paula for blessing us uh, yesterday evening. <clears throat> um, that those those are special little blessings to us. She just this, those are the moments where we go. God's still working. God's still working. Thank you, Paula. And then uh, we've got three new partners yesterday. Uh, if we could get three new partners a day in one year. Everything they wanted would happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah. we've got <clears throat> Andrea Norton. Thank you so much. VM. Thank that you so much. That typically means that they've um, asked Does that to mean be anonymous. Be yeah. anonymous? Yeah. I know who yes. that is, though. Yes. And then Rhonda McDonald. Thank you so much. You three amazing new partners. Um, we did have someone yesterday uh, that felt, and I appreciate, we don't know if we don't, are not told. Someone was feeling, uh, you know, like they felt like a second class citizen because uh, I've been mentioning how much we feel blessed by our partners. And uh, she said, I've been with you for many, many years and it's kind of hurt my feelings. Uh, I feel like a second class citizen. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know any other way to, uh, I just want to celebrate our lifetime members and partners because I feel like they deserve recognition because you would have no program without them. It, it, the, uh, the amount of money it takes to run this thing monthly is just unbelievable to most people and we don't waste money. So uh, everything goes right back into Shibboleth and our, our necessities. We don't even take trips unless I win them from AdvoCare or wherever, we just don't. Uh, so uh, just know that we love you, we're putting everything in it we can and we fall short. So without our lifetime members and partners, we couldn't maintain the great benefits that, that everyone has. So, you know, I just want to let that person know there's a reason. It's not intentional to make anybody feel like a second-class citizen. Uh, we care about our free community members and our lifetime members uh, just as much as we do our partners. We just want everybody to know who's buttering the bread <laughs> you know, that keeps it going. Uh, so thank you to our new part partners. Uh, one day weight loss yesterday. Uh, each person that self-reported averaged how much? 1.41 pounds. And then they lost. 77.6 pounds. Yeah. And then in the last seven mm -hmm. days, our members who have self-reported have lost 556 pounds. And uh, that's minutes. an average of 2.56 pounds a week per person. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, you've got 190 badges awesome. earned, 250-pound badge earners. You want to announce our, oh, our badge Deborah earners? Gillespie. Yeah. And Janice Abbott, congratulations. Deborah, I'm so proud of you. She's been around a long time. So I'm so glad to see that with Deborah. And Janice, congratulations, 50 pounds. And then and then 75 pounds, Suzette Rake Straw. Is she here? I think I saw her in here. That's awesome. Congratulations, Suzette. Great job. Rhonda, awesome. Rhonda Duffy just unlocked her 10% badge. Sure. And then Karen, yeah. Karen DeBusk did something that the majority of people in this world cannot do these days and that's had she she had 21 perfect days in a row and earned the self mastery badge great job everybody great job uh let's see so greta asks is partnering a certain amount per month but can it be per month or as we can do or do we commit to a full year no no it's month to month it can be a one-time partnership um or it can be month to month you you can do as little as five dollars a month um and then you could cancel that at any time just by writing into info or into um into myself um once you sign up to be a partner you'll get an email confirmation that has that information in it that can tell you just to email me back whenever you need to cancel that or hold it or whatever um if you did donate like a twenty dollar one time do um partnership then travis has made it available to you for one month for every five dollars that you um that you partner with so twenty dollars would give you um four months in our partnership section which allows you the partnership progression exercises and will allow you the circadian rhythm then the um the real the 
this favorite food lists and recipes sorted by weight loss meter. And there's some other really fun things that he's got going. So yeah, what, what we're moving toward is um, we, we want this to be basically um, you pay what you want to pay and, and donation based pro we, we offer donation based products and services because we've never felt right about telling someone uh, that they can't take our program if they don't, if they can't afford it or don't see the value. So uh, now we have a zero cost, zero barrier to entry. And if that person never wants to pay anything, they don't have to. And then uh, with it being donation based, you don't tell somebody you don't want $5. So, you know, what, what we, what we're trying to put out there is you do what you feel it's worth or based on, um, you know, your ability to pay. You may think it's worth a hundred a month, but you can't afford but $5. Then that's fine with us. We're going to treat you like somebody that paid a hundred. Now, if everybody only did $5 a month, it, we probably have, we probably wouldn't be able to go with this model because the services rendered at least just maintaining them cost that much per person. So my, my, my hope is that people will do based upon what they feel good about and doesn't hurt them. You know, that, that's the idea. Yeah. We've got people donating anywhere from five a month to a hundred dollars a month. So uh, it just depends on the individual. Never do anything that, that you are caught up wanting to do emotionally uh, because you, you know, then the next month you'll have to cancel it and you'll feel bad. Just do what the Lord lead you to do and if that's zero we're still going to be here for you uh as best we can but we would prefer to be able to do all the great things that that we want to do for y'all and to have a support team yeah. right now it's basically uh um, we have others that are very very part-time not not to to uh uh shed shed easy what's that not not to put their contribution down but basically sasha uh, Joni and uh, Sherry and Kristen, uh, and there's others part time, but th they're trying to help tens of thousands of people every week. I mean, I usually answer what at least 100 emails a day. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah I'm and sure. so we're trying, yeah. we're doing the best we can. We appreciate everybody's patience. Yeah. And we've got a lot of, um, we've, we, we really feel like the um, keeping our program at a low, low price is allowing many people to join that could not have joined or maybe especially with everything going on in the world right now the idea of belonging to a weight loss or exercise program is sort of a luxury thing i think um so it's you know we, we want to keep it we want to keep the price low that's just been the most that we feel good about where it's at right now and we but we do feel like that we've been asked so many times over the years how can i give more how can i help and and we just feel like this partner opportunity is a great way for you know once you've actually been in the program and you see the value um and and how much he pours his heart into it and and the passion that we have is such a little team a community helping other people i just think that it's a great thing to be able to you know give towards it growing whatever you feel like whatever you feel like because we've um you know hopefully lowered the price to you know to an extent where you still feel the love um, you still get the same benefits that we've always given, but um, but you're you know now there's just no no barrier to entry is what he likes to say. So, um, but I want to say, and then I'm going to get out, get out of your way so you can wrap this one up if you're with with hopes maybe a lesson. <laughs> but uh, um, Liz, I know you asked this just to just to the host, but um, just to, regarding the happy juice one more time, I have asked him if he would wait till next week to really talk about that we've got a little bit more on the back end that we need to do from a development side of things um hopefully the 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 happy juice the easter egg the site map should all be launched together so that's going to be um that's going to happen next week so i've just asked him if he would just give us a few more days on that and then i know that you wanted to put some good lessons you're still working on the second lesson that you want to do so you're going to break that into two great lessons about it and um so i just he you know we get so excited about stuff and i just said well let's just just give me a little more time for that one and then um but we'll announce that one next week so yeah and i'm the the plan is to have is that a sure thing yet? Tuesday and Thursday at noon, you think? 
Yes. Okay. So Tuesday and Thursday at noon, uh, we're going to do a happy juice class next week. As long as you don't have any more really cool ideas between now and then. Well, I have tons of cool <laughs> ideas, but I know. I'm I just say, having to yes. sit on them and pout. No. no, yes, yes. No, but there's only a few things and we just need to test. We just need to test and, and uh, we're going to, we're going to do it. So it's going to be Tuesday at noon is the first one. So Not I appreciate y'all. Yep. Yep. All right. We appreciate y'all so much. And I will. Yep. You're welcome. I <laughs> Thank love you, you, Greta. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, boss. All right. So she don't like it when I call her boss, but she is the boss. Can y'all tell? She's the boss. Can everybody tell? <laughs> Any questions for me today? I want to keep this thing moving forward. I do have one last question for you all. Uh, but uh, I would would uh, would like to answer any nutrition questions that you may have today, behavior modification combinations, anything, anything that you've got for me. We got a few minutes. Sorry, we took up your time today with uh, with the uh, company bulletins, uh, but uh, we're still here for you. We've we've now done like a hundred of these in a row. We've only missed two, I think, since we started. So, um, anyways. Uh, please, we're, we're here to answer questions. Do have a question for y'all while you're thinking of your questions. Would like to know because time is limited right now uh, for, for, for me. Um, if you had to, uh, if you had an interest level uh, in an additional type of class, what would you be more interested in right now? Uh, you're speaking for everybody, this group is. Uh, but it's a pretty good sample sample size I found. So, um, are are we ready to have a detox with updated meal plans? A ten day detox with updated meal plans. Would you like to see another uh, Tiger lockdown? Uh, not Tiger lockdown, but another Top Gun challenge, Top Gun three. Or would you rather have a uh, a, a group course? on Shibola journey material uh, where we go over the efficacy of all the different type days beyond the perfect day. So wh which one do you think like a, a new phase two course or the 10 day detox or Top Gun 3? Journey detox. Looks like there's a little more journey, a lot more journey. A little bit for the detox. Okay, I'll look at the schedule and uh, figure out what I can come up with there. Uh, the happy juice lessons, uh, it's gonna be worth the wait. We're gonna earn a happy, happy juice badge by going through the course and, and having vast knowledge of, of these plant alkaloids. And, uh, and I'll also incorporate how to use it for Charles Grant type weight loss. Charles, did Happy Juice work out for you, brother? Uh, Karen, I believe I'm gonna have to break it into two lessons, um, Tuesday and Thursday. But if Tuesday goes well and is efficient, then uh, we'll only have to do one lesson uh, but I, I think based upon just the sheer amount of content that I want to go over, it's going to take two lessons, almost like a mini group class, a master class. Good deal, Mary. I see that. Charles says it helps with focus and anxiety and appetite. Uh, Charles, let me ask you a question in front of the group. Charles, are you in a place where I can bring you on here? Hey, I'll make sure I record them, Karen. I'm gonna bring Charles on. And uh, this is, uh, I may get myself in a pickle. I have no idea what he'll say, but I believe in honesty. So, you know, I, we'll just see what he has to say. Uh, and he, it may not go like I hope, but uh, I'm gonna bring Charles on the screen to talk about his results and happy juice. But first with his results, if I can get him on here. I think he's coming in now. Hey, brother. Hi, brother Travis. 
Hey, brother, I know we're running out of time and some people don't want to miss this and they got to go because they only get so much time lunch hour. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, I'll skip all the pleasant pleasantries. But real yep. quick, my friend Charles Grant, everybody. Uh, Charles, uh, several years ago, lost – stop me when I'm incorrect – lost over 100 pounds, but you gained it back, right? 183. Yeah. And uh, COVID hit and all and gained all that, but about 15 pounds of it back. Would you say COVID hitting and you having to be shut in more – not being able to get out as much, maybe maybe caused you to go off the track some. Yeah, I set in depression and all kind of junk, and just got where I didn't even want to get off the couch. I could walk from the couch to the mailbox at the end of the driveway, which is maybe a hundred feet long. By the time I get out there, I'd be give out of breath, and I just I just got in a, such a shape, I just didn't do anything. Yeah, and, and friend to friend, uh, I never – I don't re recall pushing you or anything, but if you said, hey, I'm depressed or whatever, I would say, well, you got to get – like you did me last night, you got to get up off the pity potty and get moving if you really want this. And it took some yeah. time to get you there uh, where you got restarted. Now, since your restart, you've lost how much? Since March the 14th, I started with uh... – I think it was the jack attack or something, and I got started. And then as of yesterday morning, I believe, it was 105 pounds I've lost. Awesome job. And, and for those of you who don't know Charles, uh, when we worked together, we had a, a program for a while that was one-on-one -on -one where Charles paid, paid a lot more money than – anybody else has ever had to pay right so you were paying and and we were do working more one-on-one -on -one. and i want to say this about charles he he was asked to send his meals or post his meals daily and this is one of the most disciplined men that i've ever met when he decides to do something he's as steady he's like my t-shirt he's as steady as a clock and uh, he's, he's one of the people that I share uh, when, I, when I say that some of us, we get down on ourselves and we think we have no discipline. Some of us are the most disciplined people on the planet, don't even realize it because we've been able to diet and lose thousands of pounds over our lifetime. We just don't solve the, the problem at the end of self-sabotage. And then once you solve that, you've got it. But Charles, when he sets his mind on something, he is extremely disciplined. So he's done great. He's lost over 100 pounds. And then uh, I, this is my observation. It, it may not be Charles's, but uh, I told him about Happy Juice. Um, and I said, well, on the down low, we'll, we'll test it, but you probably at some point need to get your liver enzymes tested like Sasha and I are. This is powerful, potent stuff. And um, some people are going to be non-responders, but he, he – responded and I think I think his assessment what would be uh, from what I gathered well a little bit but what I've noticed that he may not have noticed as it's built up in his system over time is his attitude and I know it starts with his faith in God but his attitude he's like a whole different human being now Charles I'm curious what you feel like happy juice done for you during this hundred pound weight loss when I, I'd get up in the morning, and that's the first thing I would take because I usually go do my walk in the morning. And before it, I was having to just – it was a struggle. I knew it was what I needed to do. I didn't really want to do it. And, you know, you you kept teasing us with the happy juice, drinking it on in classes, and I kept aggravating you about it. And, you know, when I had to – do my own disclosure and agree to, you know, not hold you accountable if it didn't work or whatever. So started taking it. And the first time I took, I took a, a half of a dose of it. And it, I noticed that this kind of like calmed me a little bit. So I got, you know, and I talked to you, you said that my size and it'd be okay to do a whole one. So the, I believe it was on the weekend I had got it. And then Monday, 
morning I got up and first thing and I took it before I was going to walk and I noticed after my walk that I had went a lot further than I had anticipated. I just it's like I just laser focused on what I was doing and nothing else around me bothered me. And so I took it a few days and I thought, well, I'm gonna try this. I'm on and I think I had told you that I didn't take it one morning and I went on the walk, the same, the same walk, same path, and I couldn't hardly finish it. I was like, I just can't do this. And it was a struggle to finish. So the next morning I thought, well, I'm gonna take it. And I did. And I just I just took off and got my walk in. And then it seemed like through the day my wasn't really like energy it's more like focus and then although my my stomach growled my belly said it's hungry but it's like my mind is like no nah, you you ain't hungry so i if i to give in to the growling belly i probably went east but I, I didn't want anything so i believe it helped with the appetite and then the anxiety part i was having some anxieties uh, right before I started back on Shibboleth also. But when I started taking that along with it, it's kind of like that helped. It just kind of like mellowed it out or something. Just, but yeah. I, I believe it works. But like you said before, it's not a, a magic bullet. You can't just take it and then just sit down and say, well, work your magic because it ain't magic. You still right. got to put in the work. It just seems like it's a tool that it helps. You know, it kind of like gives you a little edge. And uh, the main thing I noticed about is the focus and like appetite control. It's like I, you know, I wasn't wasn't that hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles, Charles, uh, that that's well said, and that's been my experience with it. Number one. Um, like appetite control. I've taken appetite control stuff where I just feel kind of bloated. It makes me feel bloated. So I don't want to eat. I don't feel real good. Whereas happy juices, you just, you're too productive. It makes me more productive. And like a, a 10,000 step walk uh, before I injured my back again, a 10,000 step walk seemed like it took all day. But on happy juice, uh, 25,000 steps felt like it, it was 10 minutes and I was done, you know, it just gives you a sense of well being and you euphoria. It helps with depression. Um, so it's a fantastic, fantastic product. So I'm, I'm glad you shared with them and your liver enzymes. How were they after you got your report? I went, I went, you know, when I started Shibboleth right after that and got my blood work done. And then of course I just had it done here a few weeks ago and my liver enzymes had improved and they she took me off my blood pressure medicine off my cholesterol medicine and my of course my sugar uh a1c had went down quite a bit because i was borderline diabetic before she said this right on the verge of it yeah. but my liver enzymes were great yeah and uh, with that said, everybody's asking what it is that come in late. We're going to disclose that next Tuesday and Thursday. We really care about our members. And uh, therefore, there's many disclosures that I need to make because if I'm putting, attaching my belief in the product and somebody takes it and it does them harm, uh, it's going to break my heart. So you're all adults and I want to go through all the disclosures because Here's what's happening. The stuff is not inexpensive. And, and here's what it's worth it if you understand value. But here's the problem with it. In the United States of America, we did this with MCT oil, by the way. They've ruined it. If you, if you get the wrong kind, it's not optimized for cooking and it's, it's worthless, but they make money. So let me explain to you the, why I'm so secretive about this product until we get everything ready to get you as an adult to sign the disclosures and know the, re the rewards and the risk. 
So in this product, there are more than 50 plant alkaloids. And there are a few plant alkaloids within the product in its natural form that cause what Charles is talking about, euphoria, focus, appetite control, uh, pain relief for me. I'm about to have, just a lot of people don't know, I just telling my buddy Charles last night, he, he felt like I've seen a little down and I've had now two diagnoses with collapsed disc, no other recourse but a fusion, uh, three months of inactivity. I'm not ready for that. So I'm praying, I'm looking for other opinions. Uh, I keep struggling with that. And the, you know, one of the things I've done to manage the pain this year has been happy juice. I don't want to get hooked on opioids. So again, there's a lot of benefits, but there's a lot of, there's risk and there's rewards. So what is happening in the United States is our lust for money. Uh, and so what they're doing is they're stripping all of the plant alkaloids with solvents to cheapen the product. They're, they're taking solvents, basically gasoline, and they're extracting all of the plant alkaloids out of it, except for the ones that are creating the euphoric experience. Basically, they want to get people high as a kite the quickest way they can, but they're stripping out all of those other alkaloids. Well, it's all of those other alkaloids that keep the product from doing your, doing your organs damage. So if they strip those other alkaloids out and it's not the way nature, mother nature intended it to be, then you have a real problem on your hand. And what's going to happen is, as I disclose this, people are going to run off and they're going to be buying it from here and buying it from there and buying it. And if you're not getting something that's not, that, that's, uh, if you get something that's cheap and unnatural, you could do yourself destructive harm. So we want to explain and give you a master class on plant alkaloids and why you don't mess with mother nature or you'll do your body great harm. Does that make sense, everybody? Why, we go, why we're so cautious about this? It's the same thing with cocoa leaves. Cocoa leaves, cocaine, in its natural form, uh, helps people live longer lives and better lives and more productive lives. But what happened? They went and they stripped all of the plant alkaloids from it with solvents to cheapen it, to get people hooked on it, and now it kills people. You shouldn't mess with Mother Nature. And I'm going to make that clear to my members, and then they can go do what they will. So that's why we're being so cautious about it, because it is addictive. I don't know if Charles has discovered that, but Sasha and I have. We're addicted. We are addicts. But here's the good news. When we come off of it, it was hard to come off of it. But when we have, it's about a three-day withdrawal, three days of withdrawals, and the withdrawals are kind of like coming off caffeine. Hope that all makes sense. Just to add something, Travis, you know, well, you know the struggle I had with getting my steps in. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, this I was I was doing good for all day long. I mean from morning till seven thirty, eight o'clock at night to, to get five thousand steps. All right. I remember and since I started try doing the happy juice and things, my morning walk consists of uh, three miles, which is uh, 7,780 something steps from where I start to where I finish. And I can do that, uh, I don't want to say easily, but pretty easy. Better than I could get, used to get my 5,000. So now I'm averaging anywhere from a 12,000 to 14,000 a day. I hadn't hit 15 yet, but I'm trying to get there. Awesome, man. I, I still, I remember when your steps went up and uh, it was, I, it tickled me because I would fight with you. Uh, I don't know if I can get 2,500 and now you can get 20,000. So you're killing it, bro. Any, anything y'all want to ask Charles about, uh, about the program, about his results before he goes? Yes, Karen, I, I will. I, I'll tell you, uh, you're going to get addicted in a good way, I think. 
Uh, not everybody will. Um, a lot of people won't like it. The taste profile is manageable, but not great, right, Charles? Yeah, you you ain't gonna drink it because of the taste. That's for sure. Uh, Shanda, not sure what to tell you there. It doesn't have caffeine in it. Um, caffeine can potentiate the effects of it. It doesn't do that for me. It gives me now. I'll, I'll say this: if I'm still, I don't know if Charles, if you've experienced this when I'm still and I take happy juice and I don't go get productive, it puts me to sleep. It has the right, the opposite effect. And I think what it is, my mind is just so much more clear and positive and relaxed. If I'm not doing any nut, anything, I get sleepy. Uh, but if I take it and then get on with my day, it just gives me an amazing level of uh, self-control, positivity. Sasha, anytime uh, I'm giving her the look or she's giving me the look, we, we tell it, go take your happy juice. That's what's wrong with you right now. So. You you do probably need to drink a little more water with it, um, but yeah, it look it's uh, um, there are many benefits, and I'm gonna disclose them all, and I'm gonna go over all the risks as I know them to be, and then you can make a decision. Cause see, the problem with me is I'm coming from an angle whereby I believe that obesity is the greatest threat to a person's lifespan and quality of life. So are there risks with this product? Yes, there are. But here, let me give you a quick example. Um, Sasha, uh, she's, she's probably going to get mad at me for saying this, but Sasha's 50. You know, she's turned 50. Uh, she's doing amazing. I'll give you an example. She's doing amazing. <laughs> and uh, she, in her doing amazing, she went to a longevity doctor uh, and the doctor run her blood work and said, your blood work come back like you are, are uh, pregnant. Your, your hormone, hormonally, it looks like you're pregnant. We know you're not, but it looks like you're pregnant. So I was just feeling good. And she's like, wow. They said, you probably need to go to your regular doctor and check with them. So she goes to the regular doctor feeling good. And they said, well, you're probably just depressed and anxious. And she says, well, I get anxious sometimes. And then, you know what they tried to prescribe her without her having any symptoms of depression? You guessed it. We have a problem in this country. <laughs> so my point is take happy juice that's natural and not drugs, not antidepressants. She can take it and she feels euphoric and happy. And somebody might say, well, but it could cause this or cause that. Well, what about depression medication? So what I like to do is research powerful plant foods and animal foods uh, that whether alone or with a vitamin. So for example, Charles, you might want to try this next time with your happy juice. If you want to take less of it to conserve money, but double up on your vitamin C, take about a thousand milligrams of vitamin C with it. It potentiates the effects of it so that you feel like you had a bigger dose. So if we understand that most prescription medications were some sort of plant that went through a solvent process, usually a type of gasoline that took out all the good that helps it stay a balanced product so that you could just get the most potent part of it that could cause real problems. We do that with everything in the U S and uh, you know, most medications come from plants. They just, stripped all of the good part of the plan away to potentiate the effects of it. But those other parts of the plant that are in there is what causes it not to do harm to our tissues. So I could go on and on about this all day, but just know I'm going to do my best job to explain the uses of it, the benefits of it and the cons of it. And by the way, Jelena early on, uh, Jelena, I think it was Jelena, uh, your husband, I did see that. I'm, we're praying, we're going to continue to pray for you. And uh, it just, it sounds like we're moving in the right direction with that. But just know that Shibola family is praying for you. Uh, Andrea says, my doctor pushed a drug. I was shocked. They tried to put my wife on antidepressants after interviewing her for 60 seconds and looking at blood work. It just blows my mind what we're up against here. So Andrew says, uh, 
I had bad, bad side effects. He didn't pick up on, he doubled my dose. I went through a li living hell for years, never again. Yeah, we have to ask questions. Physician, heal thyself. I don't see anything else. If I missed anything, I'm sorry. Y'all, I took way too much of your time, and it wasn't too emeritus today for you. But you did give us feedback, and that certainly helps us. Uh, Sasha and I do look at all of this stuff and, and try to make good decisions for, for the company based upon our resources. So thank you all for sharing. I went to the doctor. Paul says, I went to the doctor for shoulder pain, and he never asked me about meds. Then I got a call from the pharmacy that my prescription was ready. They just pop it on you. Yeah. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Yeah, every prescription medication that I see on TV at the bottom, there's some fine writing. This may cause death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Charles, anything you want to throw at them before we go? No, just hang in there. You know, like this morning I got up, my weight was up about half a pound or so. But uh, I just knew my first time I was doing Shibboleth, that would have just derailed me and I'd have been upset. Travis, you know that to be true. Yeah. This time, I know that's part of the program. I know I didn't do anything yesterday to cause that. I may have drunk a little more water than I did the day before. I just got up like I was down 10 pounds and got ready and went and did my walk, come back, got my, you know, I ain't worried about it. it like I've heard Travis say a hundred times or more, trust the progress of the process and, you know, it'll come off. Yes. And Diane asked, uh, I think you've had to ask that twice now, do I, do I drink Happy Juice and Spark? Uh, I don't drink them mixed together i suppose i could because i've i've used i use some things to make it taste better i haven't used spark because spark's pretty potent itself and i like to spread it out through the day um i have been experimenting with having spark right after having my happy juice because caffeine also potentiates the effects of it but then i get a little jittery uh, where spark usually doesn't make me jittery when I have it combined with happy juice, it, I feel good. I feel wired. I don't like that. Uh, I like it, but I don't like it, if that makes sense. It's like I become like a little overly productive. I can, uh, you know, if I do spark and happy juice and I go to my gym down there, next thing I know, uh, my back is telling me uh, that was too much and you're going too hard. So, uh, yeah, but you can still have spark. I just don't know that everyone should be having it at the same time. Charles, thank you for sharing. Let me put yes, you on sir. the spot. Y'all, we love you. I, I, good things are really coming. Hopefully you heard that from Sasha. The things I've been talking about for so long, it's not like they're not coming. It's just that her and her team, they have a lot of work to do. It takes me a few minutes to say it. It takes them a few weeks to do it. So that's just, part of having your own custom built website. So, all right, y'all. Thank you everybody for coming today. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, uh, we will be hosting our partner exercise session. We'll go over the progression feature. Uh, Sasha's got some enhancements coming to it that she'll go over. It's gonna be really cool. I seen it today where you can just print your workout of the day. Just print and you got it there in your hand laid out in a great way. Just the exercise is not all the fluff I'm putting in the daily email. Uh, so you got partner exercise session tomorrow at 1030. And then we'll go to the gym right after that and go over one more new movement. I uh, went over plank last week. We'll be going over a new optional movement this week and then staying focused on our compulsory movements. That'll be tomorrow and it will go out via text. Y'all, we love you in the Lord, Charles. I love you, brother. Love no, you too, I, wasn't, I wasn't mad at you because you said uh, I need to get off my pity potty. I wasn't mad at all. I, I laughed when I read it. Uh, you get it. It doesn't bother me a bit. I just, I had to lay the phone down because I had to come back here and work and I get distracted with the phone. So.
All Thanks right, you, bro. Yeah, appreciate you, man. You stay off your pity potty, and I'll try to get off mine. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. God bless.